Vincenzo. Hello. What are you doing? Mackenzie Ravina Memorial Kettle. I am uh, trying to do our makeshift version uh, of engraving, which uh, leads me to this tool. Uh, I've taken the metal part of this Sharpie, Sharpie top and uh, put it like this so it's like a pen. And then I'm taking this butane lighter, heating it up and then using it to burn our names into this kettle so they can never be taken out. Mm. As you can see, he originally had it written down there just in Sharpie, but we like a sense of permanence with our mementos. Who knows, but some wacky Edinburghian would try and remove our names, and that would suck because we're planning to leave this kettle in the city. We don't know where yet, but uh, we're going to find some place tomorrow, which is uh, like our last half day. We have to get on a plane for Barcelona. So before we leave, we have to find a place for this in Edinburgh because it can't come with us on the plane mm. because we cannot use it outside of the UK because of the plug. Well, I kind of like the idea of leaving it here in the hostel because this is a place where we stayed. I mean, if we, like, say you and I were saints. Yes. This would be like a relic of us. Mm -hmm. So they would like put our relic in a place where we had known been known to be. Yeah. So so we could just leave it at the hostel because we lived here. Don't worry, this isn't dangerous. I'm a professional. He's done this once before. And just briefly, Vincenzo, what did we do today? What did we do today? We hmm. ate haggis. That's true. We went that has its own video. to Edinburgh Castle. We... I think, though, and maybe I'll feel differently, I don't know what sweet castles will be available to us later on this trip, I feel like I kind of have had my fill of, like medieval castles and fortresses and fortified buildings for the time being. I definitely have. Because both really the Tower of London and the castle, I mean, they were they were cool. They had some cool stuff. I learned some things. But a lot of it was just walking through these tiny little staircases and then someone scowls at you and says you went through the display the wrong way and we had to, like, turn around and go back the other way because you were swimming against the tide like naughty trout. Okay, it's done. Let's see. I, I did it all in there. You've already seen that. I did it with... Uh, That's a great, babe. Let me see. Oh, not this part yet, but all that and all of this. Is this originally what said Junior Pigeon? And now yes, gonna... that's not going to be Junior Pigeon anymore. It's just going to be on the side here. But yeah, that was pretty good, eh? It's all melty. We're leaving for Barcelona in the morning, but just one observation about this pound. Uh, it appears to have a, well, octopus or squid, I guess, with a sombrero. So that's, that's curious. We don't have as much time today because we have to leave the hostel, so the bequeathing won't be, won't have as much pomp and circumstance as uh, we had with the memorial toaster. Okay, very unceremonious indeed. There's the new kettle. And there's the old one hidden behind there. Another crappy day in Scotland. We'll be approximately 30 minutes. As you see, it's important that these do not move without the bus whilst it is in motion. Thank you for choosing our dear links The thing I'll miss most is the accents. So right about this point, we were going to the airport to go to Barcelona. Okay, we had checked our bags. And we were kind of hanging out, waiting to go through customs. And then I remembered, oh no, my carry-on bag has a pocket knife in it. 
how can I get this pocket knife onto the plane? I don't want to lose it, basically. Um, so we went to the person in the line. We were like, what can we do here? And they were like, just try and recall your bags. So we tried to do that, but it was like an hour before we took off, so there was no dice on recalling the bags, uh, the checked luggage. So they suggested maybe you can mail it to yourself. So I took two sheets from my uh, sketchbook and I glued them together with a glue stick with the knife in the middle of it. And then I bought a stamp and wrote uh, an address back home. And the return address was our Barcelona hostel. And then I dropped it in the mailbox. And I'm pretty sure what happened was I dropped it in the mailbox and it never left the mailbox and it never will leave the mailbox. I think it's just stuck there in uh, Edinburgh. Um, but I won't know until the Canadian mail strike is over, maybe? I don't know. Um, on top of that, when we actually go through customs, I have a butter knife, fork, and spoon in my carry-on, and they take away my butter knife. Because, I don't know, the blade's too big. It's bigger than a pencil, I don't know. So. I lost two knives and I was pretty annoyed. Thank you.